I was listening to some old solos. Actually, there's a video here if you want to watch uh, me playing, recording a solo from a song called Morning Star from the album Temp of Shadows. And I was watching it and I was thinking if I would be capable to play again. And, uh, and so I decided to relearn the solo to see if I can play those super fast solos, right? And uh, it's, it's cool, it's, it's quite challenging actually, because it was a long time ago, but actually it doesn't matter how many years ago I recorded that solo. What really matters is how many kids I, <laughs> I have. So now I have three kids and uh, I don't play guitar as much as, as I used to play. And uh, also, actually, I'm a, quite a virtuoso and changing diapers nowadays. Actually, if it's a number two, I'm really, I'm really good at it. But that's another subject. And if the parents here, the fathers here, if you want to know more about it, just let me know. So now I have to use my time for changing diapers and play guitar. So it's quite challenging to play those old solos. So I decided to talk about practicing and playing because before I start to play over the song, I kind of know, I remember, so I can just play along and play several times till I get the, the solo back and maybe the technical parts back. But before I challenge myself this way, I'm going to practice. So again, uh, you can watch my video that I talk about practicing and playing, that you probably, you're playing a lot, but you're not practicing enough so I decided to practice before I play so let me show you the solo some like a, a difficult part of the solo which is a an arpeggio here <laughs> The song, I think, is something like 155 BPMs, so it's pretty fast. And uh, so, let me show you the way I practice. So first of all, I know it's a, a major arpeggio, and I, I'm adding the uh, sharp fourth. So I practice only this. can practice only the right hand I can play six notes too practice the other two strings here it is the same the same shape but it feels different when you play in different strings so it's, it's always good to play and practice in different strings and now here always the same group of notes okay the root the major third the fifth and the sharp fourth so now we're gonna try to play the lick and we have this uh, the first problem which is changing positions so now we're gonna practice only the transition so 
So now the next position. This is quite hard. You have to change your finger. That's why when you're just playing, sometimes you even don't notice that you have those kind of awkward uh, fingering, right? So it's good to practice so you can play very slowly and you, you can find where, where the problems are. Okay, so now Now coming back Which is even more difficult So now we have Right? So now I'm I'm feeling a bit more comfortable to play that lick. So now the entire phrase Play slowly for you. Again. Just the very end, it, it gets. Uh, I play the D minor. Okay. So. You see the difference. I'm not playing. I'm not playing with the, you know, with a Spotify or something like that. You know, backing track. I'm just focusing on the difficult parts. So now that I played that lick in in B flat, I can practice the other part of the solo, which is in uh, D minor. So. <laughs> Now that I know the lick, I know the phrasing, I can gradually increase the speed starting 120 and try to reach uh, 145, 150 till I, I'm closer to the tempo of the song which is 155. And then when I'm almost there, I can just play with the album, play with the song and enjoy uh, the moment of playing and play several times so I can, I'm almost there and then I can have fun playing with the song. So it's very important for you to get prepared so you're almost there or you're there already. So when you play, you just enjoy the playing and not be, uh, be disappointed because you're too far from your goal. You have to be challenged when you play, but not really getting disappointed because you're too far from your goal. That's the main uh, aspect of practicing before playing. That's my idea of practicing and playing. So I hope you like this video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel and see you on the next video.